Virgos. Hey, my lovies. What is going on? My soul tribe, my family, my love. Love, lovies. Hey, you guys. So, welcome back to your video. We are going to dive right in. Let's get straight to the message. Let's talk about this energy that I picked up around you. Hi to all my new subscribers and family members. How you doing? And what's going on? Hey, y'all. Hey. So, my A1 Day 1s, my members, and my subscribers. Let's see what's happening. So, let's talk about this energy that I picked up on around you. Um, this is your pre-shuffle that I meditated on your energy for to see what we're going to talk about tonight. All right? And you know I got my sage. You know how I do late night readings. I sage the place down. You know what I mean? I cleanse our energy. Um, I know a lot of you watch a lot of different readings or whatever the case may be. Plus, the energy from these exes and karmics and people that you talk to sometimes is not the best energy. So I like to keep it balanced over here. So anyway, enough said. We got somebody in your energy that is talking about you. And what they're talking about is your intuition. Um, and I feel like your intuition is spot on. You know that they were talking about you. It's like you feel like they were talking to somebody about your gifts or whatever the case may be. After you expose your gifts to them, they're talking about your like psychic abilities to see things and know things without them telling you, all right? A lot of my Virgos are psychic. You can read people very well. Um, and this is a form of psychic gift, all right? And these people, like whoever this person is, they're talking to somebody about it, all right? And it's not a bad thing. It's like they're a little bit creeped out because you're right. Like, and whatever this is that you did, like whatever you were talking about to prove to them that you were intuitive, you hit it on the head. This person was kind of, it gave them chills, okay? It's like you gave them chills. Um, and so this person was talking to their friends or whoever these, these people are that this person was talking to. They were talking about your psychic abilities and they want you. Somebody sees you as an earth angel, they see you as a very special being who is set apart. Somebody is very attracted to you, all right? Only thing is, I feel like you always, you pick up on this person's energy. And it's cool to have fun with this person. But it's somebody that you might not want to take too seriously, okay? You might not want to take this person that serious. But this person is thinking about you and I, they can't get you off their mind, um, somebody is remembering the conversations and how it feels to be in your energy and somebody really honestly can't wait to see you again and whoever this is that they're talking to could be their friend their wingman or something like that or best friend a partner in crime the, the person that covers for them okay so this person is the person that they're talking to and this person is encouraging them to come towards you okay so, somebody definitely wants to be intimate and they want to go out. Somebody wants to talk to you, all right? They want to know more about you. They want to talk to you. They want to get closer, all right? But they definitely are talking about the fact that you are psychic. You read. You can read or whatever the case may be, all right? So, let's get into this energy and see exactly what you need to know about this person. But they definitely have a fondness. They're growing fond of you, all right? And this person could want to... I feel like they want to do more with you. They definitely are turned on by your gift. That definitely turns them on. But let's see what comes out here. Let's see what's up. Let's see what else comes out. We're going to use some more Oracle cards to see what's going on. And then after that, we'll go ahead and clarify with the Tarot to see exactly what you need to know about this energy. How are you guys doing this evening? Talk to me in the comments. This is your quick read. Well, I don't know how quick it's going to be, but we'll see. Um, but let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, overall energy for Virgo. Thank you for overseeing this reading. Thank you for blinding every evil eye. Thank you for blocking and binding, monitoring spirits, familiar spirits, unfamiliar spirits, tricking the enemy and confusing the enemy, stripping them of their armor and rank and letting every assignment sent out against us come back null and void. We claim victory over every situation we may face in abundance and overflow. Amen. All right. So I wanted to say something quick, but the longer prayer is on the video that I posted previously. For Virgo, someone rising Venus in North Node. Oh, my God. STD? What the heck? Okay. What the heck? It's a divine masculine that need to be careful. Somebody could find out that they have some type of STD. Oh, my God, y'all. Somebody is fake news pretending to be pregnant. 
no strings attached. No wonder that karmic card came out. A side hustle. Oh, this card love coming out. A jackass. Karmic lesson again. And telepathic communication. Then I feel like they're scared a little bit because they know that you can read them. You can see this energy surrounding them. Somebody who met somebody new, who just met somebody, be very careful because there may be some type of unwanted surprise that this person has to give you. So be careful with that. All right. Somebody could be a divine masculine. Somebody is into somebody been in prison before. Somebody could have their hands tattooed like this or something of that nature. Um, but it's a divine masculine energy here that maybe needs to be pregnant. There's a trap set for you. And I feel like your intuition is spot on. All right. Trust your intuition here. Okay. Um, somebody is coaching somebody along. It's like you're going to know what they're doing either way. Right. But somebody is getting assistance. All right. And somebody could feel like a jackass. Honestly, we got this card again. I was happy not to see it for a little while, but it's back. All right. And then a karmic lesson. Once again, it's a karmic lesson to be learned. And I feel like it's because somebody is not listening to their intuition. But telepathic communication, this is your psychic abilities. I feel like this is what you're doing. You're reading somebody. Somebody really has your attention. You're reading somebody. And I feel like you see this person coming. We need to find out what this STD thing is. Health and wellness is here. Somebody giving you mixed signals. Let's see. Why are all these cards coming out? Give me one more on this STD. Like, what is this about? Rejected. Wow. So you rejected somebody. It's like you know. Your intuition told you something. Firestorm. It says karma, drama, endings, loss, and a mental breakdown. So somebody could be having a mental breakdown over this. Somebody could have found out that they got an STD from somebody. Somebody could have told somebody that they are pregnant and this person is flipping the hell out. Somebody is saying that they miss you. Somebody could definitely be in prison or they live a rough life, okay? But somebody's thinking about you, they're missing you. And somebody could be going through karma right now. All right, this divine masculine. If you have somebody who is away, incarcerated, or separated from you, maybe even living in another state or country, this person is missing you a lot. Show me one more on this DNA. Turning your back. Somebody is turning their back on somebody that said they was pregnant or you're pregnant. Somebody is faking it. Somebody is not really pregnant. And somebody is turning their back on somebody. Mixed signals, <laughs> just like this reading is so many ups and downs. It's a lot of different energy, but mixed signals, no strings attached. So somebody's giving you mixed signals. One minute they, they want you, next minute they're giving you an idea like they don't want you. They're giving you the indication that they don't want anything, right? So somebody's sending you mixed signals. It's because you're powerful. It's because of your intuition. It's because of your gift. Somebody is not really comfortable with you knowing their every move. So this really freaks somebody out, okay? This makes somebody want to miss the opportunity, even though it's an amazing opportunity. Somebody wants to miss it. They're not really sure what they want to do here. They have feelings for you or they've gained feelings for you. Yeah. With this jackass and this karmic lesson, I feel like you are happily single or somebody remembers how it feels to be single. And it's just like, I must go back to being single. So somebody is about to depart from this jack butt. And then happily single, doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, and career focus. A lot of my Virgos are in this energy right now. There's a lot of things that you're trying to obtain. A lot of things that you want, okay? And I feel like... Mm, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I feel like that's what you want with this happily single. Let's see. Somebody could have lost somebody that they were dating. And if you did, my condolences to you. Somebody could have found out that their ex passed away. Justice. Selfish, stubborn, arrogant, pride, and ego. So somebody wants things their way. Like they want you. They don't want to, they don't want to hear nothing else. Like they want you. They want you to come to them. All right. They want justice. They're saying that they love you. 
So somebody likes everything about you, but your gifts make them hesitant. Like they, it's like they, <laughs> they never been with somebody gifted before. And they see you as an earth angel. They see it as a gift. They see it as a positive thing. But when it comes to them, they don't feel like it's so positive. They don't feel like it's cool for you to be able to see everything they're doing because this person is dishonest. And it's a, it's a karmic lesson to be learned here dealing with this person. So pay attention to everything. And for somebody, y'all need to be careful, wrap it up or avoid this person. It looks like somebody already rejected this person with this sickness or whatever the case may be. Because it's like some of y'all feel it. Like you know something's not right. You know something's not right with them. Let's clarify these cards and see exactly what's going on here. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods for Virgo. Show me clear messages about what's going on with my Virgo lovies. What do they need to know about this energy on the board? Show me communication, compromise, talking. I feel like you communicated with this person, and this is when you were telling them about your gifts. But let's see. Why is communication here for Virgo, Holy Spirit? Knight of Pentacles. Taking your time, dragging your feet. Slowest moving knight in the deck, or this is them. Somebody dragging their feet, pausing. This could be something coming to a complete stop after talking to you, after you expose how you um how you are, like what you know, like as far as you being a reader, as far as you being a psychic, as far as you being intuitive, or whatever it is that you do, okay? Because some readers do watch me. But um, whatever this is, somebody knows your gifts and they're intimidated, right? There's some type of tower moment. Some type of tower moment happening here. And I feel like this is something that was based on lies. <laughs> it's like somebody's fearing the fact that this will be all ruined. The whole connection will be ruined if you could see what they were doing. Show me the tower moment. This could also be somebody finding out that they have an STD. We got the King of Pentacles here. From the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, somebody could be dealing with the younger Virgo. What's the power? Somebody is about to put the burdens down or somebody wants to put burdens down. Ten, it, the Ten of Wands represents the end of a cycle. Some action that you're taking, a decision that you've made. Okay. Somebody, it's a tower moment and the tower moment definitely could be good. Something's getting tore down to reestablish something better. So we got the King of Pentacles putting the burdens down and the Nine of Cups. Somebody is wishing for somebody, wanting it to finally be over. It's like the wait is over. This is what this person is hoping for. Why the tower? Something happened here where a foundation got destroyed. Knight of Swords. Yeah, so this is the tower. Somebody did something reckless or did something, acted without thinking. This could even be something that you found out about somebody. Um, I feel like with the Knight of Swords energy, you've discovered that this person is a bit reckless. Somebody was doing something recklessly and now they have to suffer the consequences. For some of them, it's an STD. <laughs> For some of them, it's you backing off. Or it's you not being interested anymore. For some of y'all, you did want an opportunity with this person, but because they can read you, I mean, because you can read them or because you're psychic, they are, they, they're pulling back. Somebody is bringing a situation to a complete halt. Show me the intuition. Yeah. With the two of pentacles. See, somebody realizes this, like you're able to do a lot of different things because of your gifts. And somebody does see that they, if they work things out with you, they could be happy. But I feel like they're still intimidated. They are. They are still intimidated. You definitely give them chills. Okay, they still want to be passionate with you. Somebody is still thinking about you. Somebody feels like you make them emotionally happy and this could be another Taurus Capricorn and Virgo eight of Pentacles energy somebody wanting to work on things with you somebody want is willing to pay attention to details and get to know you learn you somebody is impressed with your work ethic and how you work the things that you do and how you manifest what you want 
somebody sees you as very diligent and very attentive to them. Like you're very attentive to this person um, and you're very caring. Somebody sees you as a boss and a go-getter also. Somebody feels like you're the complete package and more. Yeah. Somebody is admitting that you're top tier. Period. Justice. Yeah, somebody wants justice. A confession. So somebody is talking about making a fair decision. Whoever this is that they're talking to. Let's see who they're talking to. What's this confession? Who is this? The lovers. Somebody is weak. When it comes to you, they can't get you off their mind. Somebody really wants to take this to the next level. Show me intimacy. It's like they're very intrigued with you. Yeah, with this Knight of Cups. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign. But somebody is very charming. They are willing to do whatever it takes. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Somebody feels like you're their match. This person could be younger than you. Somebody feels like you're very nurturing and loving, and so are they. Somebody feels like you match them. Page of Swords, and they spying on you. Somebody is listening to your conversations, reading your messages, looking. It's something that they're doing. If this is somebody who lives near you, or they are working close by where you are, they're listening to everything you do. They're watching everything you do. Um... If this is a mic that can see you online, they're watching you. So they're paying attention to you. Um, and this person is weak. Like, you make this person weak. They are weak. Like, they feel like you're magical. Like, whatever this energy is that you carry is so powerful for them. Like, you really do sweep this person off their feet. You make their nose wide open. Date night. Get ready to be wind and dine. Somebody is going to offer you out on a date. With the four of wands, somebody is interested in going out with you. And it's probably this person, the hermit. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. You're going to see somebody. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And it looks like you're going to see this person in passing. And this is when they're going to offer you that opportunity. Somebody could also be calling you. All right. You could be holding back or somebody, it's hard for them to control themselves around you too. So somebody is trying to control themselves around you. Somebody, the angel is here bringing some type of balance. This person doesn't feel worthy of your time and energy, but at the same time, they don't want to miss the opportunity. So they're going to offer you out. Somebody could be talking to you, making you a lot of promises, or you could be talking to this person. You guys are discussing your dream, the future, and what you want to do. Maybe they're talking to you about what they want to be and all of their aspirations with the Six of Cups energy. Um, there could be a feeling of nostalgia also. Feeling good about something. Yeah, with the Six of Cups. These are fond memories, pure love, like something feeling organic. Somebody is saying that you make them feel childlike. Like the love that you bring to the table makes them feel. It's like they've never felt this before. It feels like you guys are always already connected. It kind of feels like they've known you before. Um, with the Six of Cups energy, kind of feels like there's a soul tie here or like they've known you before. For some of you guys, you could have known this person when you were younger and then you reconnect with them. But somebody definitely is going to see you and want to take you out. Um, Five of Swords, this could be somebody that you had some type of bad blood with. But it's the ending to whatever that confusion was and a, a brand new start with the world. Something ending and something beginning. All right, so... It's like a redo. Whatever situation it was that you had with this person in the beginning, you learned from it. All right. So it's something here about the world. And the world is talking about new experiences. You could have closed a chapter in your life, moving away from conflict and whatever this is that was troublesome to you. It could have nothing to do with this person. But um, still, the world is here, nevertheless. And this is saying that you're embarking on a whole new journey. This is the fresh start. This is closing out a cycle. The universe is proud of you. You've learned your lessons about whatever said um, thing is. And then you're moving on. Um, and you're realizing that you're a lot stronger, wiser. Um, 
and capable than you gave yourself credit for. Um, it still blows you away when you look back and see all the things that you made it through, right? And the universe is very proud of you. So you continue to get blessed. You continue to get new opportunities. Doors continue to open. Um, and you're the magician. So whatever you want, you get. Um, right now, your intuition is at an all-time high. So don't doubt your intuition. It's spot on, right? It is. It's spot on. Um, and it's telling you things about people to keep you protected, right? So make sure you pay attention to your intuition. We got the devil energy here. So it's like you're outsmarting this energy, like you're stronger than this. Whatever it is, whatever this devil energy is, whatever is trying to tempt you, pull you in, make you weak. It's like somebody wants to control you. You see how the devil is pulling the strings? And this person, like, the devil wants to dim your light and control you, this devil energy, all right? It just means that you need to pay close attention to the things that are tempting you because this is something that could drain you and almost take you out. So be careful, all right, with the strength card here. Yeah. Somebody definitely wants to talk to you about going out with Three of Cups. Um, somebody could definitely want to be friends with benefits as well, but somebody wants to go out and have some fun with you and they're going to be talking to you about that. Um, you could be talking to somebody who has a wingman or somebody or a female, their bestie, whoever their bestie is that they talk to or whatever the case may be. I feel like this person is warning your person, telling them to be cautious with you because you can see everything they do. But they're also telling them not to miss this opportunity, male or female energy. This is interesting. Show me one more on the world. Queen of Pentacles. So is my Queen of Pentacles going through some type of transition, learning a lesson? Yeah. Okay. Somebody's holding on to you tight, but I feel like you close the cycle with them. So whoever this is, and this could be an earth sign, somebody could look like this even. But this person is still holding on to you. They're holding on to the idea of you guys becoming something more, but you have closed this cycle and they don't realize that. So for somebody here, you already closed the cycle. You got the spiritual guidance that you need. Yeah, so I see that here. This person definitely is sad, feeling like they spilled all the cups. They're reflecting. Somebody's reflecting on their mistakes. Feeling bad about their actions. Okay, I do see that here. So let's see what Spirit wants to tell you before I close out your reading. Let's see what else my Virgos need to know. What else does Virgo need to know? Let's see. What y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? One more. One more shuffle. This is what I don't need to know. All right, y'all. Build bridges, not walls is here. So this is saying everything you want is wanting is wanting you and waiting on the other side of the walls you build. Let your guard down and let love in and life in. Okay. And it says can't escape shadow self. It says until you make unconscious conscious it will continue to direct your life so don't continue to suppress certain energies and feelings and emotions bring it out to the surface so you can overcome it and move forward successfully okay don't settle it says don't accept your current search <laughs> lord have mercy it says don't settle don't accept your current circumstances as the best you'll ever have don't be afraid to start over Okay, spirit is telling you not to be afraid to start over. 
because a fresh start is good and i see you starting over here so some of you guys are starting something closing the cycle out and starting something new i feel like somebody definitely did cut somebody off or explain to somebody that the feelings aren't mutual um Somebody could also have explained to somebody that they're intimidated, you know, they might not have used those words, but that's what it is. All right. Spirit wants you to trust the journey last but not least. All right. This says when you experience stagnation in your life, know that it's the next level calling you answer the call and let go of the old. All right, so for somebody, it's time for you to start fresh. Spirit definitely wants you to let go of these things that no longer serve you. And believe in yourself, y'all. Believe in yourself. You deserve the best. Like, why not go after it? All right, so that's your reading for this evening. I'm sending you guys a lot of love, light, and positive energy. If you guys need to book a reading with me, you can book your reading at Closer, the number two mydestiny.com i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you for your love and support liking the video sharing and subscribing and thank you guys for your purchases and donations i have some purchases going out that i'm gonna mail out tomorrow okay thank you guys bye loveys